Well, actually, I am a children's librarian. Oh, okay. So my print memories are of working in a library for like 35 years and adoring every single day of the work because libraries are the most wonderful place in the world to be because you've got everything you ever want to know right there. And you don't have to settle on one area of expertise. You can be interested in anything in the world and right there in the library, you can do it. Today, I use the library for interlibrary loan a lot. I, I write, I've written over 60 books and a lot of them require research. And so, guess what? I look up the books I want through Amazon or online, and then I go to my library and put in a, or actually I go online, put in a request for them, and about a month later, I get a little email and the book is right there. It's right in the library. It came from Florida, it came from Minnesota, it came from who knows where, and I go down and pick it up, read it, and take it back. And there's no charge. It's called interlibrary loan. People need to know about it. I think it's so important to have public libraries. Uh, because that's the free place where anyone, anyone can go and get books. And in the library that I use now in Des Moines, Washington, the Des Moines Public Library, you know, they have free movie night with first run movies that the families can come in. There are many families there who are lower income, who can't afford to go to a movie theater. They can come to the library seat. They come to the library, they get their books, they use the computer. It's an amazing, amazing service that has to be supported by taxpayer dollars. We've got to pay more taxes and support these kind of services. If you knuckle untrue to it and you remove the book from your collection, then you've become the book banner yourself. So you have to leave it in your collection and find a way to defend it. Because once we take it out, we're the, we're the banner. I'm working on a book with my daughter who's a kindergarten teacher in Bangkok and it's called Teaching with Story. And it's a book about storytelling for teachers. Lots of advice on how to use storytelling in the classroom. There's lots of good stories to tell in the classroom.